Hello and welcome to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. So happy to have you here today. My name is Kelly. So in today's video, I am going to be working in my kitchen, taking down my summer decor and just getting it prepped for the fall decor that's to come. I am not doing fall decor just yet. It's still so hot here, hot and humid and I'm not ready to put the fall decor up yet. I know I see a lot of YouTubers and a lot of people on Instagram have already finished decorating most of their house for fall, but I'm just not there yet. I'm not ready for the pumpkins and all that kind of stuff. So what I want to do is just take down the summer decor, kind of neutralize my kitchen and get it uh, looking like that so I can be ready when I want to put up my fall decor. So without any further ado, let's get into today's video. So I'm starting on this side of my kitchen, which is where our table is and everything, and I'm changing out this floral planter. I've had it here for years and I was just getting a little tired of it, and it's not really uh, going with what I am doing on my main level. So I thought I would just bring back this snake plant that I have somewhere else and change it up in here. And then I found these absolutely gorgeous placemats at Bed Bath & Beyond and they were on sale for a dollar. They were on clearance. So I'm going to take the yellow placemats off the kitchen table and put on these new ones which I absolutely love and that's giving me more of the feel that I'm going for on my main level. I'm really not looking to do very much uh, pumpkins or fall colors just yet but I think this will really set the base for when I want to uh, start adding in my fall decor in a couple of weeks. So once the eating area was completed, I moved over to this other side counter here where we just keep our toaster out and yes, Gussie's dog food and his little treats and some uh, fruit bowl. And I wanted to show you this gorgeous new toaster I got. Oh my gosh, I am in love with this thing. It's like a cream color with some um, stainless steel, but look at this handle with the wood on it, the wood grain. I am obsessed with this thing. I think it's just beautiful. And I so want the matching kettle. You should see the matching kettle with the wood handle. It's gorgeous, but it's a little pricey, so I'll wait till it goes on sale. So after just giving the countertops a quick cleanup, I'm just gonna put everything back and just get it looking nice and neat again and changing up the fruit bowl for this glass one instead of the basket and just get it looking kind of neater. And now I'm going to move over to my coffee station and take out all the yellow and the lemons and just neutralize it a bit and change up some of the decor. I struggled with this place a little bit, but in the end, I think it'll work. It'll, I have some ideas for um, fall, so I'm excited to do that. But for now, it just works. It's cleaned up. It doesn't have that summer look with all the yellow on it anymore.
and I decided to add in this beautiful little spoon into the sugar bowl. It's from my mother-in-law and it's just got one of those uh, mother of pearl handles and I think it's just beautiful. So now I'm going to head over to this other countertop in my kitchen. This is where I used to have my coffee station and I really liked it there. It was just a little bit small so I just decided to change things up and now I have my uh, Cuisinart here so I kind of make it my little baking area and I'm really enjoying having my Cuisinart out all the time. It's so easy to just um, pull out and start to use and then I just have my little uh, recipe book holder and this new cookbook that I got and oh my gosh this I've tried a bunch of different recipes in there and it's so good so then I'm now I'm just going to change out the uh, yellow towels in the kitchen for these pretty ones that I got from HomeSense and they were on clearance for seven dollars and it was a two pack and they are so so pretty they're this beautiful waffle knit with the fringe on it in a very subtle black and white stripe um, and I just think it's just it's just so pretty and just a nice neutral for the kitchen now and then I'm just going to change out the other lemon towel over here by the sink for this one and call it a day with those so I don't know about you guys, but it has been so hot in our neck of the woods here. It has just been so hot and humid, so I'm really not ready for the pumpkins yet and uh, actually have no motivation for that. So I'm just going to take my time and decorate for fall uh, because we're still in a heat wave here. It's just been so hot. Let me know down in the comments below, are you guys experiencing this heat wave? It is crazy how hot it is. So one of the other reasons I'm just not ready for fall is our stores here have very, very little fall decor out. I am shocked. I was actually at Walmart the other day and they had nothing nothing in the way of fall decor I'm seeing all over Instagram and all over YouTube everybody going to Walmart and and Hobby Lobby and all these places we don't have Hobby Lobby here in Canada or Target but even Walmart doesn't have anything and our home sense has very small choosing um, it's all stuff that we've had in previous years. It looks like they just brought out old decor. So it's really been very disappointing. So I'm just working on this countertop here, trying to add in some of my other decor I've had for years. But I wanted to share this little soap dish I got again at Walmart on clearance. And I'm just going to use it to hold my strainer, my um, sink strainer. And that's it. I thought it was a cute little touch. And here's a quick look at how the kitchen has turned out. It is great. It has a nice neutral base. So when I am ready to bring out the fall decor, I just have to uh, trade out a few key pieces and put in, you know, the pumpkins and the garlands and other things like that. Smile. 
think one of the favorite things in my kitchen right now is my kitchen table. It's simple, yet these placemats make such a statement, and for the price, they were a great deal. I love this little amber bottle here. I just love the way my table looks now, even though it's really, really simple. Several days later. So a few days later, after living with the kitchen the way it was, I wasn't loving that towel behind the coffee bar. I thought it was just too dark. So I decided to take one of these towels and put it on the towel ladder and put it behind the coffee station to just kind of brighten up the space. And I like the way this turned out much better. I also decided to change out the little plant that was there for one of um, a gold pear that I had. Um, I'm not sure if I like this here yet, but for now it will work. Um, I think I'm trying it here because I want to see what a pumpkin would look like here eventually. So yeah, I decided to make that change. And then I went over to this other section over here and I just felt it was too crammed and crowded and I didn't like all the color there. So I just gave it a quick switch up as well. So the other change that happened this week was my husband's new chair finally arrived. If you watched my uh, living room makeover, you know that we've done a complete makeover on this room. And I had said I had ordered this chair, but they had said it wouldn't be in until October. And lo and behold, they called last week and it was in and it was delivered and we love it. It's one of those recliners, but it's called stressless. But what I love about it is it doesn't really look like a recliner. It's kind of modern looking. I love the base of it and the color. I just think it looks so nice here. So again, if you watched any of my previous videos, you know my chair used to be here. So what we did was we moved it over to this corner by the window. Sorry, it's a mess. It's messy there. I was, I love sitting there looking out the window and everything. I'm not sure if it's going to stay or if we might get a smaller chair. It's a little big for the corner, but for now it'll do and I love sitting there. The other thing I recently picked up was this beautiful basket and I got it great deal on it. It cost me $7 and it was normally $50. It was on sale, on sale and then another 50% off. So it came up to $7 and it's exactly what I was looking for for here. But now I just need some smaller little baskets to put around it to make like a little basket wall, but I'm starting to love this corner. Now the other thing that used to be over here was my big tall plant, but I have since moved it. Isn't that always the way things change? Still love my mantle with this mirror. That's all brand new. So this stand, if you've watched any other videos, this stand with the plant on it used to be in my kitchen. And I do all kinds of seasonal decor on it, all kinds of planters, but I had this snake plant and this beautiful basket from Michael's. So I moved it in here behind this table and my husband's chair. And I think it, because this needed a little pop of green here and I am really loving the way that looks. So the old um, plant that used to be in the other corner, let me show you what I've done with it. So here's the plant. It's in this corner where that stand and that Michael's basket used to be. And I really like it in here. It's something different. I feel like I've had the same thing in this corner for years. So I love the way this plant looks. It brings in a lot of greenery in here and I love it and I love the basket, although I can't enjoy it as much as I could in my living room, but it's still cohesive with everything else I have changed in this on this main level, and I'm still loving these placemats that I got 
for a dollar at Bed Bath & Beyond and it just brings that kind of look into this corner so I am loving the way this looks in the kitchen in this corner. So the one thing I did find was I was at the grocery store and they are starting to get out their mums so I did pick up the orange mums and the deep burgundy are probably my favorite ones. So I thought I'd pick up an orange one for in the kitchen and that's about as fallish as I get. I just place it in this planter that I had and I'll probably cover up the black here but for now it's fine. It's sitting there and it brightens up this little corner of the kitchen perfectly. Thank you so much friends for spending some time with me and seeing how I am preparing for fall. I have got out my fall decor now and I'm just going through it to see what I want to use this year. If I'm going to pitch out anything or donate anything and I'm still hunting the stores for some new things but honestly I'm not going to go overboard with the purchases this year because we've just redone our living room and kitchen and I'm really happy with it but thanks again for spending some time I hope you enjoyed this video and until I talk to you in my next one guys I hope that you have a fantastic week bye about the days we used to shine when we were young I told you that we should start a band and reach for the sky It's 2 a.m.